Hi, I'm Michael, one of the SEO experts with Omen Interactive. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to beat the top spot in Google for the search term Sarasota Property Management Companies. So let's take a look. You see I've done the search for the Sarasota Property Management Companies and what you'll notice is on the top right hand side and it says sign in so I'm not signed in right now with any of my Gmail accounts or anything else so it's going to give me kind of the most unaltered results because they do personalize the results based on your search history and things like that um, so right off the bat you'll see that there's a couple of ads here and of course down on the right hand side the top spot right now is uh, a company that's called sarasotamanagement.com and then the number two is stringer management and then it gets into um, it gets into some of the local property or the local companies with their Google pages so this is what's considered a blended results where it shows the ads the organic listings and then also the map listings all on one uh, one page and then we'll scroll on down so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, something a little different so when you're doing a search on Google, if you want to look for a local company, a lot of times people do put in what's called a local modifier. In other words, they'll include the city name like we did here with the word Sarasota. However, if you don't include that word, Google now uses your IP address as well as many other factors to figure out where you're at and they will give you results based on the location that you're at. So for example, if I did a search for property management companies, you still see that the Sarasota management company or the Sarasota management.com is still number one but you'll notice right away that we are still getting other uh, other results down here and then stringer management.com has actually landed from above the map listings now it's below the map listings because now the word Sarasota is not included in there and then you'll go down through there and you can see some of the other um, other listings that are there and but now you also see that the ads are also coming from like St. Petersburg and some of the other you know other areas. So this one's in Tampa, uh, versus the ones over here were pretty much all local listings because we had uh, we had the the phrase Sarasota in there. Now to show you just kind of how much it changes in that they use the IP address to to figure out the results on these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and go to the search settings and I'm actually going to change my location to a different city so in this case since I'm in Florida I'm going to I'm going to choose something that's not uh, that's not even close so I'm going to do uh, San Diego California right um, San Diego California and then I'm going to save now when I look at the results for a property management company what you'll notice is that all these uh, results, especially the map listing specifically, have changed to San Diego. And what you won't notice is that the property company that was listed before and for Sarasota is no longer in these top results. Once again, that's because of the IP address that's coming. So it's really important that you include local information in your search in in your web page so that you can come up in the search results. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. Now let's now let's go ahead and take a look at this top site here, the SarasotaManagement.com. So right now uh, I'm not in any way associated with SarasotaManagement.com. Uh, this just happens to be the number one spot, and so I'm going to go do an analysis. So one thing I, I start doing is I, I start with by doing what's called a, a site a site uh, uh, search. So I, essentially it's just site colon and then you put the name of your website. Now I've done this two ways. I've done it with the www and I've done it without the www. The first thing I want to look for is I want to look for the number of the results that show up. Because if, if you're doing SEO properly on your website, that number should be, if not exact, it should be pretty close. Uh, and the, re the reason I say that is because you, you're going to use what's called a canonical tag that references that you're going to use one, one page over the other. Um, so you don't have duplicate content on your website. Uh, which will actually drag down your results overall. In this case, what, what's happened is that you have 29 results here, 
you have 66 results here so it tells me that you're not using a canonical tag in your results and we'll take a look at that here in just a, a few minutes it's actually within the code of the site uh, so it's going to give you duplicate content and you don't want you don't want duplicate content within uh, your site um, so the other thing I want to look at is how the ranking of these pages are coming up. So you see we have the www.sarasotomanagement.com, then we have the blog, then we have the contact, then the site map, and directions. On the www version, we have the main URL, then we have the contact, the site map, the directions. What's missing from here immediately is I don't see the blog at all. So in, in the WW version, they're looking at the blog as not being relevant to this website. Essentially, that's what's going on. Uh, so as you start looking down through the results, we start seeing the different pages that you have uh, available here. But, you know, again, what's missing uh, is you don't have a blog in here. So that's not part of, uh, that's not part of the, the importance of your site. Here we do, uh, and that comes up mainly because the I'm, I'm looking at everything here, which includes the blog. Your blog is a subdomain at this point. Um, so we're just going to kind of go through there. The other thing I want to do is, is take a look at um, on your blog, because you're using WordPress, I'm looking at the, the source now uh, of here. So here's a title tag. And in, let me show you where these show up. Your title tag is this one part right here. Uh, and then this is the meta description tag and you see that you have the, the dots right here and up here which means both of them are too long so you want to shorten those um, so let's let's get back over here to the, the the source code so here's the title information so it's too long it's way too long it, sh it should be shortened up in fact probably everything after this little pipe should be removed uh, it is being used with with the WordPress from Yoast the plugins are, uh, in my opinion, is, isn't being set up properly uh, because you're getting, you're getting um, in the search results, you're getting these long uh, titles and, and descriptions. That's all customizable within by using that plugin. So whoever's doing that for you isn't util utilizing the plugin that they put in there. Uh, the other thing I want to look at is I was talking about the the ca canonical tag. Uh, being in here so again in the in the description or in the in the source code in the top part what we're looking for is we have a title tag we have what's called a, a meta description and meta keywords those are the main ones that we use for uh, for the search engine optimization and they're all going to appear in the top head section now this is probably very technical for some of you watching uh, but it's fairly simple but what what's happened is that a lot of that information is not being it's not being used so uh, you see that there's a title tag that's being used but what's absent is and I'm looking down through uh, all these links here um, and I'm seeing so these these OG ones these are ones that are used uh, for sharing with Facebook and, and Twitter and things like that. Uh, but what I'm not seeing, again, within the, which should be pretty simple within, uh, within here are um, the description. So we have it here in the, in the meta property, this uh, open graph description. Um, so it's here, uh, but there should be another tag also that is uh, is also showing it now within the and that that's on the blog site within the main site what we're seeing here is that we have the keywords um, which I would delete all of those and the reason why is because they stop use pretty much all the major search engines stop using it yeah, five to seven years ago they don't use the, the keywords anymore uh, except in the in the case of penalizing you so they look at the keywords and they say are these keywords on the page yes okay well we're not going to do anything are they on are they not on the page if they're not on the page and they're in the keywords then they give you a little ding because you're trying to kind of manipulate a little bit what they're seeing uh, the other thing I would do here of course here's the title uh, go ahead and, and fix that property management 
this is old school optimization because you're using, you know, essentially you're using different keywords in here, uh, one right after another separated by a comma, which includes Sarasota, 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 and then also within Sarasota, within the URL. Um, so all of that, all of that is is kind of an over optimization, um, which some of it surprises me that it, it's still ranking. Uh, but then the other part tells me that there really just isn't anybody going after these particular terms, uh, and that's more more likely the case. So anybody who is wanting to come in and rank for these terms um, are are going to be able to do that pretty quickly if they're doing uh, some good SEO. So again, the keywords get rid of it. Here's a description right here on it. You can uh, you can shorten that up. Uh, so it meets 165 characters, what you're looking for. Um, so anyway, back on here, we we have the we have the duplicate content issue, and once again, that's the first thing I was looking at with this site. Uh, the other thing I want to do is kind of take the URL for the website and go to a site. It's called Open Site Explorer. I've already gone ahead and put this in here to kind of look at the domain authority. Now, the domain authority for most local companies. Are, are going to be somewhere between 10 and 30. Some of the better ones are going to be between 30 and 50. Um, so this one's right about the 30. It's not. It's not that great. It's not that bad. Uh, it goes on a scale of one to 100, just to give you an idea. Um, and you'll have sites like Yahoo and YouTube and and Google at at the 99 or 100. Uh, most most sites don't fall in there, especially local sites. So we just wanted to kind of see where the the domain authority is. It's almost it's similar to the page rank, uh, the scale of one to ten that was used by Google in the past, uh, but this is an algorithm that's actually used by Moz, uh, which is a software company. The other thing I wanted to look at was looking at how many root domains are linking here and the total number of links, and to see if they were skewed. So if I saw like two hundred and then you know forty thousand, then I knew that we were going to have a problem. But here they're pretty close. Um, and 200 for a local company is actually really good. Uh, and then, you know, 431 links, not too bad. And I'm going over to a different site. This one, um, this one is called Open Site, uh, sorry, this one's called A uh, Hrefs, which is actually the, the source code for a link. Uh, and so this does and, and looks at all your backlinks. Uh, it has a little bit more information than the Open Site Explorer. Both of these are free tools. I have paid versions of both of them so I can get some more information. Um, so I'm looking at the domain rank, which is 44. Uh, for a local company, really anything over 10 is going to be good. So that he's 44, he's doing a really good job. Has 191 re uh, referring domains, so that's pretty good as well. So now let's look at um, let's look at the backlinks on here. Uh, to see the types of links that are coming because what what I see here that's a little unusual is this is coming a lot of these are coming from Poland uh, which is for you for a Sarasota US based company doesn't make a lot of sense it should have stuff that's in the United States um, so let's look at the inbound links and I'm going to be looking at what what's called the anchor and that's essentially the words that are being used to link to the to the website. Um, the first thing I notice is there is a, a large number of links that are coming back to Sarasota Management and Leasing. Um, and I actually went and looked at it and it's actually the name of the company, so that's okay. Uh, and in this case, it has Sarasota, it has management in it. It's probably one of the reasons why that they're ranking for the term Sarasota Property Management it's because of all these links coming back that have the term Sarasota and have the term management in it. Uh, not that they're necessarily going out there and doing property management terms specifically. So if it, if this wasn't the name of the company and instead this was the keyword you were trying to rank for, this would be a really, really bad thing because that's way that's really over-optimized and you would get a lot of trouble for it. Um, so the other thing that I want to start looking at is kind of like what are the top pages for these sites and how's the distribution of the links coming in and you see here the referring domain so these are how many people uh, are linking and these are the pages what I start seeing right away is that we have 196 domains going to the home page uh, then we have two three two 
Um, and this is a 301 redirect that goes somewhere else, and this is a 404 page, which means it's not there anymore. And then we have all these zeros, which really tells me that they're not they're not being they're not linking to any other page except for their home page on their site. So if they have rankings other than their home page, it's by accident. Uh, and it's it's mainly due to the on-page optimization. And to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here, let's go back to um, kind of the home page of this website, right? So we'll go back to the home page of the website, scroll down to the bottom. These see all these links. This is kind of more old school stuff. Now they're probably going to rank for the Sarasota Property Management because it has Sarasota and management within the name of the company, and that's the majority of the links. Uh, it might also do well for Bradenton Property Management, mainly be, again because of management. Uh, and it has an address that's close to the Bradenton area. Lakewood Ranch also, same kind of thing, and that's a much smaller area than both of the other two. So when you're, when you're rank, trying to rank for some of these smaller areas, it's not gonna be too difficult to do. Now these other ones, Sarasota Home for Rent, Bradenton Home for Rent, Lakewood Ranch Home for Rent, most likely uh, not gonna do very well. And so as I start doing some searches here, uh, management, Lakewood, home, Lakewood Ranch Homes for Rent. Um, so we start you scroll through here and we're not going to see uh, here we go right here uh, it's a really small area Lakewood ranches and so they're able to get on the first page uh, not because they have links or anything like that just because that the on-page optimization is done in, in such a way that they have uh, that they have uh, things going there so the other thing I want to look at is uh, Bradenton Homes for Rent are we going to show up over here uh, the short answer as I scroll down through here is no. Um, so we'll go through here for Sarasota Homes for Rent. Um, we'll start scrolling down some more and um, so we, we're here towards the bottom of the first page again. Uh, it's probably to do with the, the big use of Sarasota with the backlinkings that come through there and the addresses in Sarasota. Um, Lakewood Ranch Property Management, they're number one, really small area. Bradenton Property Management, start scrolling down, uh, I'm not seeing them there, uh, and then they're towards the bottom of the page. So they're getting these, these uh, other searches even though they're not necessarily doing a great job at optimization. Uh, instead what's happening is they have some on-page optimization that, that is able to rank these internal pages. Uh, so if if you were able to if you were wanting to go after some of these other terms you would know, be able to do that pretty easily because they're able to do that with just internal links uh, and I'm not actually seeing anything other than their ad on here Sarasota property manager oh sorry they're actually number one sorry um, on the number one spot so um, the last thing we want to look at at this point is you're saying, oh, that's fine and dandy, but let's kind of put this into perspective here, right? Um, so let's take a look at what would happen in AdWords and to see the kind of search volume that you would get. So what I did is I so I did the Homes for Rent Property Management, also did the Sarasota Liquid Ranch and, and all these specific terms. Uh, the first thing I notice is that it's trending and we're in September right now so it's going to be a downward trend until the beginning of the year uh, and then it looks like it hits an upward trend so their their peak season is anywhere from January to August on these search terms specifically these property management ones and these homes for rent ones uh, you can look at the, the word specifically to, to find out what they are um, now, if we if we look at just the ones that have these local modifiers, the so Sarasota, Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch, and add these up, uh, and add these terms up, so we have 480, 170, 170, 90, 70, 30, Lakewood Ranch Property Management doesn't have any searches according to Google on a monthly basis. Really what that means is it has less than 10, 10 searches on a consistent basis. Um, so really all together you have about a, just over a thousand searches that are are exact for these terms um, so which would give you the number one spot in Google uh, according to some some research that was done uh, recently we'll get about 36 percent of the clicks and if you look at the the click-through rate here or you look at the cost of these right you have 235 a dollar 35 
ninety-three cents. Here's dollar fifty-nine. Um, so you have they're all over the place. They probably average out somewhere close to a dollar. So if you you average out about a you know just over a thousand clicks, and if you wanted to capture uh, the most possible, that number one spot is, is valued about you know three hundred and sixty dollars. Essentially, is is the value of these these terms on a monthly basis to them if they had to pay for advertisement. It doesn't sound like a lot, but for three hundred sixty dollars, how many clients could you get if you had three hundred sixty people coming to your website? Now that could be a lot. Um, so we just kind of want to look at it that way. Um, is is the value of that? Now there's all kinds of other terms as you see down here. There's all kinds of other terms that they could be ranking for as well that have much higher. Uh, much higher search volumes than the ones before. In fact, if you look at the ad grouping ideas that they have, meant, you know, the property stuff, and and even coming down to rent or study, you have 5,000 uh, searches on a monthly basis, or Lakewood Ranch at 20, 28,000. Uh, so when you start when you start adding all these numbers up, you know, Bradenton and all these other kind of numbers up. You could easily get up to um, you know 100,000 searches on a monthly basis that you could get. In, in organic traffic and you would be able to capture somewhere uh, in the neighborhood of 20, 30, 40,000 uh, visitors coming from organic search. At a dollar click, you know, that's, you know, you start looking at all these clicks again and you're paying four, five dollars, three dollars, you know, 28 cents. Uh, you know, it's, it's not too much to assume that they would average out somewhere in about a dollar range, uh, $20,000 a month. But how much business could you get from 20,000 new people visiting your website every month? So those are questions that you got to ask yourself whenever you're doing uh, something like this. So back to this website, um, that's the value of, of the rankings that he has for, for their Sarasota property management and for property management. If they were doing all these other terms uh, and able to get uh, the proper rankings on this. So to, to beat this person, what you're looking at doing is one not over optimize what you're doing so all all this old school stuff that he's doing uh, as far as these links in the bottom footer going to these inside pages you wouldn't need to do that uh, to rank for it using proper the meta tags using the proper meta tags the descriptions you don't need you don't need to use Sarasota so much within here uh, in and realistically once is enough he's actually over optimized and and I think the big reason that he's he's ranking so well is because there's really nobody else going out for these terms but like I was just showing you there's plenty of traffic for these types of terms and if your business is interested in getting that type of traffic uh, then of course that's what we do with search engine optimization um, and of course uh, one of the other things that you want to look for uh, was the backlink profile and when you start seeing that he's not really getting links to anything else this just means that all his links are coming from his internal linking structure which which really leaves it wide open for anything that you're trying to rank as a competitor so you just have a little bit of optimization a little bit of work to get in there and and rank for these terms I hope you found this information valuable please feel free to contact me with any additional questions